Originally from Manchester, our next entrepreneur, Joanne Buck, has been living in Buncrana, County Donegal, for nine years. She's hoping to gain traction in the competitive snack market with her frozen grape candy. Frozens are actually frozen and 100% natural. Some people asked what was in the product and when you tell them nothing, they're kind of surprised. Consumers, especially parents, or, or especially myself, always looking to find purity and nutrition for my son. And I know that a lot of parents feel the same way. And it'd be great if you could be able to pick up more of that in the shops and especially at the cinemas because now there isn't an alternative there, so. Hello Dragons, my name is Joanne Buck and my business produces Frasins. Today I'm looking for an investor offering 60,000 euros to 30% of my business. Frasins are made up of 100% natural frozen fruit snacks and grape candy, which is the first in my product range, is made up of a particular variety and quality of red seedless grapes. I conducted a wealth of research and um, it was very clear to see uh, that consumers are increasingly looking for nutrition and purity from the food for themselves as well as their families, as well as looking at um, uh, managing their busy lives on the go. I established Frasins in my home in Buncrana of County Donegal and I first was delighted to bring Frasins to market with Brunswick Movie Bowl um, in Derry. Since then, we have been selling Frasins in over 30 shops, as well as four cinemas nationally, as well as developing marketing channels and distribution channels. I feel we can scale Frasins into a global brand. Joanne believes Frasins offer a healthy and nutritious alternative to cinema goers and people on the move. But will the dragon see the potential in a bag of frozen grapes? Oh, that's refreshing, isn't it? Joanne, do you think you could come back in half an hour? <laughs> <laughs> so, Joanne, I think I know the recipe for these. You get some grapes and you put them in the freezer. That's correct, yes. So, like, for the home market, it's kind of a tough sell, isn't it? Because, you know, even I could make something similar to your product. It mightn't be the right variety of grapes. You can definitely go to a supermarket and pick up a punnet of grapes and wash them yourself and put them in the freezer. However, you can go into your kitchen and pour yourself a glass of water in the same way that you can go to the shop and buy yourself um, bottled water. So that in that sense. So it's like the convenience. Um, it's the convenience and um, the fact that there's no, um, usually very little alternatives. And because raisins are frozen, they um, don't tend to um, go off as fast as they over fruits and vegetables perhaps may do. I think you make a good point, Joanne. Like, in, in the US, most of the fridges make their own ice, but people still go and buy big bags of ice yeah. in the supermarket. Exactly. So yeah. I, I think that's a good point. T tell me, what, what um, price are they selling for in the shop? The snack packet is selling for €2.30 or €2.50, depending on where you purchase. And for the large packet, um, you say it's uh, €3.00 and €3.50. Okay. What sort of sales uh, have you done in the movie bowl in Derry? I don't want to give those kind of uh, figures out, but I can give you a collective figure for... You, if you want to help yourself, you okay. have to help us understand. Okay, um, I can give you a collective figure for um, sales for the four cinemas of this month. And for those um, four cinemas, um, my turnover is uh, on for 2,200 euro. Um, and that's... Um, not including what I could have done if I wasn't preparing for the den. So um, over the 12 month period, that's equivalent to um, 26,600 euro, which um, if I uh, increase my cinemas, cinemas by an extra uh, 12 cinemas to make a total of um, 16 cinemas, that means that gets to my turnover of 106,000 euro, not including the shops either. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Joanne, I like the packaging, although it, um, to me, looks very female. Is, is the target okay. audience here women? No, um, the target audience is um, from 1 to 101 for anybody. Yeah, I wouldn't see now, packaging-wise now, it sort of, it looks, uh, it looks very female positioned. Burly. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> okay. Yeah. The cinemas will have freezers uh, yes, for, for ice cream, which is ideal. Yeah. Um, in the, I suppose, the newsagents and the general shops that would sell snacks, their freezers tend to, to, to be maybe away from the counter and, and yeah. would, would contain 
other people's uh, brands, namely uh, ice cream, uh, there's been many a uh, court case about who owns those fridges okay. and who's allowed to go into those fridges. So yeah. it's kind of a difficult one to launch a, a frozen ba brand in the snack category on its own and, and, and not owning the fridges, or the freezers. Have, how, how do you intend to go about that? Well, the way I have gone about it so far is um, I've left it down to the shop to um, decide what freezer to put it in. Mm -hmm. Often they've discussed with um, the people that distribute the current snacks in that freezer and they've allowed some space or they haven't and they've put it in an alternative freezer. So um, that's how so far I've okay. gone. Okay. How many calories in this size bag? Um, so for the 100 grams bag, there, I can't remember off the top of my head, I'm, I can't remember I'm, uh, on the small one. It's uh, 71, I think, Barry. 71. 71. Just wondering about the impulse factor, because it's snack is all about impulse, and yes. I'm thinking of all the coffee shops and you know the insomnias. Yes, exactly. And yeah. Where, where did? They, but they don't have freezers. They have chilled units, but not freezers. Yeah, so. I've, I've been speaking with people that can um, provide um, units um, and have them branded. But so you'd you'd have to put in a a, a, fr a mini freezer. Uh, yeah, for a coffee shop, they, there's um, a 116 litre countertop freezer. It sits on top of the counter? Yes, yeah, definitely, okay. yeah. And roughly how big is it, do you know? Um, it's three shelves. Okay, there wouldn't be a huge amount of space on any of the insomnias or Costa coffees or that yeah. that I go into. Eamon has exposed a potential problem in the Frasen's plan. Joanne is looking for €60,000 for a 30% share. Could this be the next trend in healthy snacking, or is the challenge of keeping the grapes frozen too risky for the dragons? Joanne, I, I just can't see it as a, a viable proposition from an investor point of view. I think you'd probably make a good living yourself, so I wish you well with it, but for that reason, I'm out. Okay, thank you very much. Joanne, well, I admire the fact that you've taken on uh, uh, one of the toughest categories in food, which is snacking. Okay. Um, it, it's one of the most uh, competitive, uh, and some of the biggest brands in the world are, are competing on a daily basis in this area. I question on the consumer side whether you're really going to gain a, a, a position in those freezers that you'll be allowed to keep. I suspect the competitors will simply uh, remove your product or, uh, or, or refuse to allow you in the first place, which, which is a major structural problem for me okay. um, on the consumer side. Yeah. Uh, but you have gained a toehold in the cinema market, and that is incredibly lucrative. Okay. So um, from the financial piece, I'm, I'm out, but okay. I would urge you to go for the cinema market. Great, thank you very much for your advice. Thank you. Joanne, you know, the problem I have is that if you think about the home market, I think you either have grapes on the table or if you want to freeze them, you can freeze them yourself. It doesn't really work for the school lunchbox market either because if you put them in frozen, by the time lunchtime comes, they're thawed and that, that kind of novelty piece has gone away. Uh, so with such a big part of the market excluded that you can't address, it doesn't make sense to me. So okay. I'm out. Okay, thank you. Yeah, Joanne, um, the, uh, I suppose the snack market is so much of an impulse market and, uh, you know, I could see, uh, you know, so many coffee shops and that lunchtime opportunity and so many people are eating out now and you're excluded from all of that. You're now limited to, to, a, to a cinema market, which um, I don't know if, the, if cinemas will still be around in 20 years with everybody watching Netflix, so I'm out. Okay, thank you. Joanne, I'm going to pass on this investment, but it's just a general comment about uh, the excellent food presentations we've had on this series. They've been excellent in the science of the ingredients, uh, the process, uh, etc., and very little talk about just the great taste. That was one of the most refreshing snacks I've had. But you have to sell it when you come into the den as well. I'm not just saying you, but uh, as I said, uh, it's uh, something I'm uh, not going to pass on and say I'm out. Okay, well, thank you for your time. Thank you. Thank you very much. The thing that struck me in the den is the confidence of the young people coming forward with business ideas. And I think it's great because as, as a country, that's what will make us good if people have the confidence to start. 
I do feel it's definitely a viable business. Um, I've been um, working on it for the last year and I know um, how the uh, sales will project for the, this coming year and how they're doing at the moment. So um, I've just got to keep working on that and concentrating on that and I will get there.